Hello everyone and welcome back to our fledgling gold mine. We're on the hunt for more gold today. See if we can try to strike it rich here eventually. Um, now I did do some digging between the last video and now to try and put a little bit of extra money in our pocket. So you can see I have $71,000 in change there in cash. Another 419 grams of gold in my pocket as well to work with. Uh, but we have run into our first challenge here at the mine. Uh, we've had our first breakdown. Our little, uh, little backhoe here is not doing so great. So we're going to have to try and get this thing repaired. So it turns out that you probably shouldn't try to run your machines out of fuel and then try to start them when they have no diesel in them. At least I'm fairly certain that's what broke this thing. Um, so this, yeah, the fuel filter in here is toast. we got to rip this thing out. Um, oops. I wonder if it matters. I was I kind of pulled it out forgetting that I don't have an inventory in this game. It's not just going to like slot away somewhere that I can deal with it. So we're going to have to go into town. We've got a fuel filter. I think it's the only thing that's broken right now. Uh, we have a decent amount of fuel in our fuel tank, so I don't have to worry about filling that up just yet. Uh, I have no idea what to do with these parts we rip off the thing. Do I just throw it in the hole and bury it later? <laughs> like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so we're headed to town, and uh, I don't need fuel right now, so I'm going to take the truck without the trailer. And then while we're there, maybe we can uh, do a little shopping. It'll be nice when I can unlock that feature in my little tablet that lets me order things without having to go all the way into town. Get them just like delivered right out to me would be significantly better. Uh, while I'm here, I would like to get the Magnetite trailer. So this will give us the ability to uh, to sell Magnetite to the blacksmith and then we can use it for upgrades uh, to try to get some like faster smelting and that kind of stuff, which you know in the long run will save us some time. I don't think I need big diesel water pump. Don't need that. Uh, we don't really need the mobile water tank. I think we got pretty much everything else. There's no mass to clean, so we don't need that. Just the one item, I guess. All the pieces for repairs are in this back room over here, under the spare parts. So we have to find a fuel filter in here somewhere. There it is right there. I mean, I guess a uh, reinforced fuel filter or just a regular fuel filter. 130 versus 1,045. You know what? I think we'll just we'll buy the cheap one. Because frankly, I'm a cheapskate. I we don't have the money to be spending on expensive things. Um, nothing else is broken at the moment. I'm sure we will need more more parts for things over time, but uh, for now, we're not in bad shape, so we'll make do with what we have here. All right, quick shopping trip. We should be ready to go again. I'm just going to park the uh, oops, the Magnetite trailer over here where we can use it for... Oops. Oh, man, that's... Treating this thing with a keyboard, not the way to go. Uh, I did try using a controller for stuff like uh, for digging, some people have suggested I give that a try because they like doing it that way themselves, but um, for me, not really, uh, not really my favorite. I kind of ended up going back to the keyboard relatively quickly because I kind of got used to how they use the keys to do what I wanted to. Uh, I do still find keyboard driving a little bit challenging, but all right, that's close enough. Ditch this here. Actually, you know what? We can even leave the truck here. I don't really need to bring this truck over. We can just drop it here. We'll take the filter over by itself. Unhook the trailer, because I'm bound to forget later. I probably should have fueled up the truck while I was in town, too. We're almost out of fuel now. Uh, but this magnetite trailer now will let us uh, take the magnetite we've been collecting from here, which isn't necessarily that much. We can dump it into here, and then we can take that to the blacksmith, and that will allow us to do some upgrades. That didn't work at all. How the heck do I get the magnetite actually into my inventory? So at the top, you can see the gold that I've harvested. No, that was a gold bucket. That was the wrong bucket, I think. No, that was the magnetite bucket. I don't know. Trailer's at 2%. Maybe I have to drop it at the factory to get it in my inventory first or something? Might have to look that up. Nevertheless, um, we, we have a long way to go in terms of the magnetite anyway, so it's not going to be anytime soon we can spend stuff for upgrades, I don't think. Um, let's get uh, get this dropped into our, uh, into our excavator. So that's all repaired and ready to go. I can get rid of this thing. I should probably get the lights turned back on here. It's actually daytime, but because it's raining, it's a little bit on the dark side, I imagine. There we go. A flashlight can't hurt, I guess. Fire this puppy up. Fortunately, this thing lasts forever with the fuel that's in it, so that's really handy. I have a pretty decent sized hole that I've dug out here, but the one thing I've noticed is I'm not really getting anywhere near the bedrock. The reach on this excavator is just not, not nearly big enough, so I think we're going to have to buy the bigger excavator, and I think that's probably where our money's going to go today when we get some more gold in the, uh... 
little more gold in the box. Uh, I'm kind of doing my best to reach it as it is now. Uh, I've sort of been walking the excavator back and, and walking the uh, the mobile wash plant back as I go so I can kind of clear out an area, but definitely that's going to present some problems. Uh, we need to get everything fired up here so we can get, get producing again. All right, everything's fired up and running again. Oh, yeah. Fuel. <laughs> That's why I had to do the repair in the first place. I completely forgot I ran out of fuel, and now I'm just wasting fuel. It's good times. Well, I'm not going to take the time to go turn everything off again. That's kind of a big nuisance. I'm just going to hook this thing up. We'll get the get the excavator fueled up, and we'll get back to work. All right, third time's a charm. We finally got it all fueled up. Uh, excavator's ready to run. I have one bucket now that's at 78%. I think I have a second bucket over there I can fill. So I think what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll get this bucket filled up with uh, with all of our wonderful pay dirt. Yeah, so we'll get this one all filled up, and then we'll fill up that second bucket. We'll get everything cleaned up, and we'll take this into town. We'll do a little bit of shopping and see if I can get a, a hold of another uh, larger excavator that I can reach a little bit lower down. The, the best gold in these things is usually down near the bottom. Tends to be just kind of how they play out. In real life, I don't... Oh, that was a terrible scoop. In real life, I don't think it would play out that way. I mean, it's not necessarily always going to be the deepest ground that's going to have the best gold. It will depend on where the gold settles. I mean, it might be, I guess, because it settles near the uh, the bedrock. But, nevertheless, um, we'll do our best to get what we can out of this. And then, uh, with the with the other excavator, we should be able to get some pretty good uh, some pretty good cleanups, I think, if we can get some of that really deep gold. Uh, that was a terrible scoop. 4%. That's not a good angle. I can't really see how deep I'm, how deep I'm scooping here. That's all right, though. So we'll get some of those uh, some of those bottom bottom gold deposits. We'll get some good cleanups, so and we'll put some serious cash in our uh, in our bank, and then we can use that to get maybe the, an actual instead of a mobile wash plant, we we'll use the uh, the larger wash plant with the trommel and stuff. Get some bigger cleanups from that. That's going to take a fairly significant investment because we have a number of pieces we're going to have to buy. Uh, if I'm going to do that, I should probably invest in a rock truck instead of just like solely using the excavator, but with the larger excavator, we can dig more dirt. I think it actually digs up it digs up more dirt than what this mobile wash plant can handle. It has a longer reach on it, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, the last couple scoops going in here for the the second bucket now, and then we'll have a good cleanup. I think uh, I got a nice large 250 gram nugget while I was digging here too, which is going to be a nice little addition to our pot of gold. If I remember correctly, the excavator that I want to get is somewhere around $100,000. So hopefully we'll have enough cash for that. Uh, this is not even going to need a full scoop here. So just put a partial one in. That hits up to our full 100. Shut all this down. Uh, now I can leave the uh, the power generator going. While I was uh, While I was working on getting stuff all sorted out here, Digging for some more gold and things. I did buy a cable splitter, so we have that. I, I also got a hose splitter, but then I realized after I got back here that I need a large hose that I have to run from the other pump, not the skinny hose. So I'm just making do with swapping the hoses for now, but uh, at least we have a split for the power, which makes this a little bit easier to work with. Quick cleanup of the uh, of the concentrate here. Well, I guess it's not even concentrate yet, but. Well, it's, it sort of is. It comes out of the mobile wash plant, sort of concentrated. Then we're like greater concentrating it through this by getting rid of the magnetite. Uh, we'll have a tiny bit more magnetite to dump in there. Uh, 2,340 grams of the magnetite bucket. I mean, it seems like a lot. It sounds like a lot anyway, but it doesn't really seem to add up all that much. Oops. That would be not what I want to do. There we go. All right, another 2,493 grams of magnetite. Let's shut this thing off. Uh, I need to swap the hose over. Because I don't have that set up yet, but that's all right. Uh, we'll get this thing running. We'll find how much gold we got in these buckets. Bucket number one. First bucket had 167 grams of gold. I feel like I was getting more gold before. That's not super promising. 
when we started digging over here, I could swear I was getting buckets that were over 200 grams. And now I'm only getting like 160 some odd gram buckets. I've dug out a significantly larger area, and I thought this area over here was higher gold concentration, but it doesn't seem to be playing out that way. Second bucket had 178 grams of gold. So, I mean, I guess with the 200, 250 gram nugget I found, I didn't necessarily do that poorly, but... Not quite the uh, the payout that I'd like to see. Um, let's grab the man's side here. We'll take this into town. I mean, this is obviously a very small percentage of it here, but I want to see if I can get this transferred in in a way. I think if I dump it at the factory, maybe, then it becomes part of my stuff I can spend at the blacksmith. I'm about to find out. It might only just give me money. I might just get straight money for it. That's not exactly what I want, but uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, so the factory here, I think, is where we drop off the magnetite. If we pull up here, I'm fairly certain we can dump it here. At least that used to be how it worked. I, I don't know anymore. When I when I played before, they didn't have they didn't have upgrades available, and there's no there's no option to dump. Oh wait, there we go. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's how we get it in my inventory. I have to drop it here at the factory. And I got a couple of achievements out of it too. So twenty eight thousand two hundred and seventy six grams of uh, magnetite to work with. I'm going to leave the trailer here so I don't have to haul it all the way with me. Let's go into town. We'll sell off our gold and see what we can uh, see what we can do to get a new excavator. Okay, at the blacksmith, uh, let's see this old magnetite thing. So, upgrading the magnetite. 35,000 grams of magnetite in order to upgrade the time. To Actually, all these are... Oh, no. Those are even more expensive. My small furnace. We can upgrade the amount of gold that goes into the furnace, reducing our gold costs, uh, reducing our smelting costs, and then reducing the time consumption. So I'm going to need more more magnetite before we can afford any of these. At least I know how to collect it now, and that's probably going to come in handy. Uh, I should have enough gold here, I think, for two bars. Very nearly two full-size bars. So we'll get these smelted up and then over to the bank. Gold price today is down a tiny bit, but it's not really that much. It's only like... 10 cents or something. So we'll get rid of these gold bars. Uh, 21,691 for the first bar. 17,127 for the other. That gets us up uh, just over 100,000. Uh, I was hoping it would actually be a little bit more than that. Because I'm not sure exactly how much this excavator costs. I, I have a feeling it's around 104,000. And if it is, we might have to take out a small loan to be able to pay for this thing. But I want to get to that deep gold. So, I, I, I mean, we could find other ways to do it. I could dig... I guess like a little shelf down next to the hole that we're digging in now so I can get the excavator down lower and that might get us where we need to be. Uh, but we'll see what it's going to cost us to get this excavator. This is the big one here. I guess it's like a 400 or something. 76,800. Alright, I can afford that. Um, so we're going to order this puppy up. Um, now we do actually need... Oh, or we could rent it. What's the rental cost in this thing? Daily rental cost, $3,072. Um, so we can have this thing for a significant amount of time before... We have to pay the full ticket on it. Yeah, you know what, we'll just buy it outright. Oh, no, I rented it. That's not what I want. Alright, hold on, I gotta cancel that order. I was just gonna buy it. Check it out. Uh, get rid of this thing. Okay. We'll purchase it outright, and then we're gonna get this rock truck later. That's 110400 for that. Uh, but we won't need that until we actually have a wash plant, because that's just that's just useless with the uh, the small plant we have right now. So um, so we'll buy one. I guess we'll yeah. Oh no, I did add it properly. I did it right. I guess if I clicked rent, it would have rented it. So that's fine. Uh, we'll check this out. Order that. Machine's ready for transport. Um, machine's been on the transport in your storage. It's fine. So we are going to have to arrange to get this out to our property now. But our property only accepts one machine in the claim. We already have one there. We have our small excavator. So we'll upgrade this. 20,000. What a ripoff. Do I even have any money left? <laughs> I don't even know. There we go. All right. That's going to cost us 1,500. I hope this thing comes reasonably well fueled because, uh, frankly, I'm, I'm a little low on cash now. All the way down to $4,000. We were up over $100,000. It's amazing how quickly you can go through money in this game. Yeah, I guess it's kind of like real life. Although I think I spend a lot more in real life. You know, the millions easily. There she is, her new excavator. I'm going to have to get the old one out of the way before we can move this one into place, I guess. Uh, kind of a shame I had to spend a little bit of money repairing this older one, but... Oh, you know what? I just realized, too, that... 
This one's got a bucket full of dirt, so we're going to want to get rid of that. Uh, I'm going to dump the dirt. We'll move that excavator out of the way. I think I'm actually going to sell that excavator. We'll just put it on the little on the selling block over here they have uh, at our claim. And if I could actually steer this truck properly, that would be great. So we'll, uh, we'll sell that off. We'll get a little bit of money back for it rather than just having it sit around. There's pretty much no point in that. I'm thinking when you when you start this game out, it's probably not worth it to even buy the machine. You're probably better off just renting it because it... I mean... I think we we started the game the day at what like ten days before summer, so I've only had the thing for like five days, and I'm already selling it off. It's probably something to consider. Man, let me tell you, there's nothing more exciting than rolling around in a heavy piece of machinery at five kilometers an hour. It's kind of a slow drive from over there. That's all right. All right, so that should uh, that should take care of this. Um, I wonder how much we'll get back for it. I don't even remember what I spent originally. Use this. Uh, 7,500 we'll get for it. That's fine. I'll take it. I'm gonna have to be able to pay for the gold that I uh, that I dug out of the, the ground yesterday whenever that comes due. All right, this thing is significantly bigger. So that's pretty sweet. Oh yeah, this will be much better. Now, if I remember correctly, this thing actually um, digs more dirt than the uh, than the mobile wash plant's capable of handling. So we can we can pull that out of the ground at a high, much much higher pace. So we'll see how all this plays out. Whoops, did not hit me to hit that button. He's hitting ship for sprinting games. I wanted to go faster. Ooh, that's gonna be a tight squeeze. All right, we got it. I thought I might fall into the hole, actually. Okay, we got this all in place now. I'm gonna take a quick look at the gold map so we can see where the, the gold is best in this area that I've already dug out. But like, look at the size of this thing. It like dwarfs the mo poor mobile wash plant. It's like, it's just tiny. Alright, shut this off for the moment. Um, okay, so in our gold map, we are currently sitting uh, over this area here. So you can see you know, 25 grams per meter meter cubed down at this lower level. Uh, 25 grams, so 26 at this one where we're parked right now. Right behind me here, this is like 19. So we get some pretty decent gold amounts. Actually, there are some places here where the gold isn't better deeper. That's interesting, it's kind of in the middle. Uh, but where we are sitting at the moment, definitely uh, the best gold is down at the bottom. We were digging all this stuff up here earlier, uh, and now we're down at the point where you know, we want to get to this good stuff down here. All right, all of our machines are back on again. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna. F uh, this is gonna be really interesting trying to dump the dirt in here. This thing is significantly bigger than what I was working with. Um, I'm gonna try and just, we'll do like a couple test buckets here. I want to see how this compares to what I was getting before uh, with the other the other excavator. So I'm gonna try and just uh, just dig the uh, man. If I can get that down here. Come on, raise the bucket. There we go. I'm gonna try and get just the deep gold here. So we're getting what should be the highest concentration and see if we get a better payout than what we were getting before. I was getting in like the 165, 175 kind of range. Man, I get a 45% full. Wash plan on a one bucket. This should take significantly fewer scoops to fill up. Oh well, you know, unless I do that. But we'll see how this compares to the, uh, the you know, the 165, 175 kind of range we were getting from the uh, from the other dirt we were digging. All right, it took a lot to get down here, but I think I've actually finally been able to touch bedrock, and I can only barely reach up. So I just overfilled the thing. 223 nugget. Go to, sorry, 223 gram nugget we just found. Uh, we're on our second bucket of, uh, of concentrated pay dirt through the plant here. And I, like I said, I just barely touched bottom. I, I had to actually turn the excavator in order to be able to reach the bedrock. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get this cleaned off very effectively. I might still need to build, like, dig like a little shelf that I can use to reach down farther because I'm uh, more eroding the the edge of this thing underneath me that I am getting the stuff at the very bottom now. That's kind of a problem. Uh, this excavator is definitely huge compared to what we were using. I'm having no trouble at all keeping the uh, keeping the hopper full on the, the wash plan, but it's more of an issue now of just having idle time where I have to sit and wait for it to process. So it's like 60, 65% now. I could almost have two wash plants going here, like side by side. I could dig and just alternate which one I'm dumping into. 
Uh, although we would need a bigger a bigger supply of water for that, I think. Yeah, already back up to 70 with one scoop. It's crazy. Alright, so it says we're digging a hard surface, and so that means there should be bedrock down there, but I still can't really see it. It's got like a thin thin covering over it. I just gotta be careful they don't break the teeth off on the excavator, because you know that would be another another repair we'd have to do. More expense. Yeah, the bucket's at 90% now. Should only take maybe another scoop or two. Then we can get a clean out and we'll find out how we did. I, I, you know, it's funny, in all this digging down here, I only found that one nugget. 223 grams worth. Man, they might not even need this scoop. 95% it's at. 96%. 97%. Yeah, we'll need a, we will need a little bit more in here. Probably not the whole thing. Okay, let's shut this down. We don't need that anymore. Okay, hopper's still got 20% in it, but the bucket's full, so let's get this off of here. We'll see what we can get for a clean out this time around. Okay, just two buckets. I really need to get more buckets so I can keep working on this, but... No, no, wait, wait, that's gotta keep going. I need that. Quick hose swap. Put our first bucket through and see what we got. So with with each of the other buckets that I had uh, had worked through here, I had dug some of the soil that was up near the top of the hole. Um, this time I stuck, I kept everything down near the bottom, and you can see we did go deeper. Although it doesn't seem like it's that dramatically deeper, considering how much larger that excavator is. Oh no! I did a, I did a wrong thing. Please tell me I didn't lose a bunch of gold. I think that was the magnetite bucket. Ooh, yeah, okay, we're okay. So, 2,857 grams of magnetite in there. Looked like it stopped processing, but... 2,709 grams of magnetite in there. I don't think this is gonna turn out to be significantly different than what I got before, to be honest. I think on this particular claim, it's all about just quantity of dirt you put through the plant more than anything. Two hundred and four grams. Okay, so we're finally over two hundred again. Let's see what our second one gets for us. Uh, second bucket was only one hundred ninety-three. All right, so not significantly better. I was really hoping that all the dirt at the bottom of that hole would have, a, a, you know, a much better yield than what we were seeing in the other buckets. Uh, clearly, we need to keep putting some more dirt through our, our little wash plant here, so we can make some more cash well, as we earn that cash. I'll start to uh, start to upgrade our system a little bit. We'll try and get into like a fixed plant system, um, but we certainly need to earn a whole bunch more money first because that's going to be really expensive relative to what you know we've spent so far. So we'll come back next time. I should have more gold in the purse. We can go and uh, try and buy some stuff here. We'll start getting a trauma wash plant set up and see if we can get a little bit better production out of that, uh, and then maybe we can use the rock truck and stuff too. Which should be able to handle the dirt from this excavator a little bit better. But thanks everyone for coming to check out the video. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.